Okay, so for the transformation of your data, let's talk first about unpivoting columns. So what we have here is just a quick illustration of unpivot, right? And then pivoting the columns back. So on this left side over here, you can see that the table we have over here is more of a readable format for us humans because it's something that we're used to. So what you have here is just the list of customers, right? And then we have the months and then the sales numbers that you have for each individual month. So which means for this one, this customer, let's say widget corp, right? We have February sales numbers of 1424. It's fairly easy for us to read because it's just in a tabular format. But for example, if we wanted to transform to this format, because this is the format, so you could see here individual values, right? Like the 1625 is over here. We have the Acme and then January and then February, etc., until all the way to December. And we have the sales number as well over here. And then you have the customer names repeated over and over again. Same goes for the months. And this kind of format is something that's very useful for processing, right? So whenever you want to create a new pivot table, for example, out of this one, or you want to do further reports, right? This format is a lot easier to work with because it's very useful. So for example, if you're doing programming or you're doing any applications, you want to analyze the data, then this is the format that it's very useful for you to be able to proceed. So for us to be able to transform from this data format, right, the table format over here into this format over here on the right, the good thing is Power Query has the unpivot columns functionality, which makes it very easy for us to do so. So let's go straight to data over here. And we have this tabular format over here right now that's in a human readable form. So let's go to data and then let's get it from the table so that we can start working with Power Query. Okay, so now we have our table loaded over here. So let's just have a quick look. Yeah, it's looking good. We have the customer, we have the sales numbers from January to December. Okay, so now is how do we now transform this or unpivot our columns? So if we look here, right inside the transform tab, we have unpivot columns. And if I select this, there's two options that we have. Either we can unpivot the columns or unpivot other columns. And in our case, right, just make sure your customer is selected. And then what we will select is unpivot the other columns because we want to expand the sales numbers from January all the way to December. So if we do that right now, just like that, your table is now transformed and you can see here that we have customer, we have January, we have the sales number, and then we have the months as well expanded now to this format. And let's just give this a more like a more useful name. So let's say sales month, right? And for this one, we could just give it the amount over here. Okay, so let's just double check the types quickly. Yep, this is a text looking good sales month is text and then the amount as well is let's just change this to currency so now if you scroll down you can see that data is now expanded to this format right so we've pivoted this one and it's just by one click if you were to do this by hand then that's going to take you quite a while which is pretty cool in power query so we're happy with the data let's go to home close and load right and we'll now have our new table and the next thing that we can do, so we have this one, right? You can now create a new report. So let's go insert, right? And go for a pivot table. Just use the existing worksheet. So I'll just place this somewhere on the top. Let's close this one. And if we drag, let's say customer, and then we have the sales amount of the columns, and then we have the amount, then this is pretty much we're recreating the original table as what we have here a while ago, right? We have January until December, and then we have the list of customers on the first column. So this is the exact same thing. And the cool thing over here is if we insert another pivot table now, let's go insert, existing worksheet. If we want to create a different kind of report, so for example, if we have the customer, right? just have the amount over here or maybe just change it to let's remove the customer right and all of a sudden you can now get the sales numbers the totals for each month and if we have this sort of table from the very beginning 
it's not going to be as straightforward in creating a pivot table out of it because you can now play around and let's say maybe add a layer of customers all over here and you won't be able to do that on the original data only when you have this table format over here then you can now play around and make any kind of reports out of it and you can even recreate the original one so that's the power of unpivoting columns